good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, in this video, we are talk about the third step, which is a wrapper. Wrapper give our module a scope, a private scope. Let's see how it does. Okay, it's actually easier than you are thinking. It's using JavaScript. When I talk about it, you can say, oh yeah, I know this, okay. So here in our JS file, suppose it's called, uh, um, let's use in the previous we were using, we called what? Uh, my math dot JS. Here I define a function, right? F. Uh, add okay in JavaScript there's a no public uh, or private so this add actually gonna be public so but in node it using common JS which is this add is a private it's not available in another uh, JS file okay so how it make it to be a private ask you a question in javascript what cause a uh, scope okay it's not the uh, before year six it's not the curly what's the the cur uh, the curly brace it's a function will create a scope it's the same thing here so in the wrapper face what the node do yes he will wrap everything inside the no matter how many statement he will wrap everything inside the, the uh, js file using this function oh sorry yeah what should i do okay let me make it clear Everything inside the, this JS file will be put inside this uh, wrapper function. And this wrapper function will initialize something here. One, the first argument is exports, like a require module. And uh, 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 I couldn't remember, uh, probably it's called a file name. There's another one is called DRR name because I use this one. The order might be a little bit different. Okay, I will show you uh, a real one later. And uh, he will wrap everything. And another thing is he will do like do one more statement is this one. This is the the part which node doesn't exactly follow the common uh, common js module specification common js module spe spe specification we are using the exports to actually ex uh, expose our uh, functionality outside our module but uh, the node js is not node js actually whatever you attach to mode module export gonna be exposed okay so whatever you attach on the mo module data exports it's gonna be exposed but at the beginning it will make this uh, exports this variable point to same place as module data exports we will have another lecture talk about the difference between them okay so this is the wrapper step dude just create a function okay which is this function and it's anonymous function and uh, uh, inside this function is your code so a function will create a scope and after that after your statement he will return whatever you put in the module that exports and uh, then he will using apply method to run this function Okay, which uh, when we uh, evaluate, you have to execute the code, right? You are using apply method to code. Uh, 
and to show you the real one yes we can go here we can use in node then we can use in require give a module dot wrapper this is the actual wrapper you can see it will give you a function and this function will contain exports require module file name and the dr name what are those 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 values for uh, those variables or oh, uh, you can also consider as the local variables will hold the value which you node will uh, initialize for you so you don't need to pass the values node will initialize you can directly use inside your js file you can directly using module you can directly using required right see here in my app is there any place i have this require function no right but i can use why because it uh, the in all the code actually is inside this function and the require is a method a variable method arguments so you can directly use okay and later on you were also using dr and here let's see here i directly using module right but i didn't declare module in this js file but uh, the reason you can use because module is initialized and the entire js file is actually under uh, actually inside a function okay hope you understand what is the wrapper uh, wrapper step doing now after watching this video so the next video i'm gonna talk about the difference between exports and module.exports okay uh, that's it for this video. Thank you and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.